It's like stuck. Okay, a lot has happened, so I'm gonna do my makeup and your makeup, and I'm just gonna talk about life, because <laughs> a lot has went down. sure what's going on. I think there's a lot more background stuff going on that I'm not really aware of. Um, and because of that, that like this stuff has been going on. So I think I talked about this a little bit in my last video. My, I got a co-worker in trouble on accident. I did not mean to get this co-worker in trouble whatsoever. Um, essentially to make a long story short she texted me while I was not at work I was at an appointment and that wasn't an issue she has my number for a reason I wouldn't give her my number if I didn't want her to have it and be able to talk to me she asked me a question I answered it whatever I was not mad at her texting me I was upset though that my phone like do not disturb wasn't working and it was like glitching I think it was because I just updated my phone like, instead of just giving me no notifications, it was, like, um, blowing my phone up every time I got a notification. To, like, where I had to, like, click the notification to get it to go away. It was really weird. So, I was talking. I came in the next day, and I was talking about that situation with my coworker who also does the same job that I have. And I'm not bitching. I'm not complaining about getting texted i'm just complaining about my phone not working and the situation was i had it on do not disturb not only because i was at a doctor's appointment but because my grandpa just had a heart attack and so i only wanted updates from my grandma about my grandpa so my manager walks out kind of like nowhere and is like what happened and was like she, she shouldn't be texting you outside of work and I was like um I'm not upset over that like like that's not excuse me the point of this conversation and she made a fucking fit about it she's like she's gonna get talked to that is so unprofessional and not okay and I was like what like it was crazy alright now we're gonna use this say uh, glow super gel and this is in the shade Star Glow. And I was like, what the fuck is going on? Like, it was so weird. Like, she just, like, wanted to. And I, I said, I explicitly told her I didn't want her to get in trouble. And she didn't listen to me. And I didn't know she got talked to. So she, she ended up getting talked to. And, um, I only knew that she got talked to because my HR partner came up to me and told me that she'd got talked to. And they offered to like pay me, like compensate me for responding to her off the clock, which was so weird. And I said yes, but then they never did it. But anyway, so I had been meaning to get with that coworker and apologize because I had not want, wanted her to like get in trouble in any way. And so finally the other day, I we were working together and I had a moment of free time. And I was like, hey, I am so freaking sorry. I found out that you got talked to based on something I said. That was never, you know, I, I don't want you to think I was complaining about you or something because I wasn't. And I was like, and I, because she'd been kind of avoiding me. And at first I wasn't sure why. And then obviously I found out she got talked to. So it makes sense because I wouldn't want to fucking 
be friends with somebody who's gonna report me for texting them after they gave me their fucking phone number. Like, holy shit. So, um, I explained to her that it wasn't like anything bad that I had said. It was just like something that was taken completely too seriously, right? And I explained that, but like, my speaker just went off. So I, so I explained the situation to her and she was like, oh my God. She's like, I'm so sorry for treating you shitty. Like, I just, I was so confused. And I was like, no, I'm so sorry. And so we kind of like made up and she was like so happy that that wasn't the case that I was like upset with her. And um, she got really upset after that though. She was like, oh my gosh, like, because the manager that had done that, like, she's been on a fucking rampage recently. I don't know what her deal is. I don't even know if my phone's going to make it through this. We're going to use this tinted moisturizer by ColourPop in the shade Fair for N. And um, I think the reason she did that was because they don't want her to work there anymore. And like they were just doing anything that could result her in getting talked to and get in trouble to do so because here's the thing she is autistic and a lot of people have very negative perceptions of autistic people and I think she struggles to do some daily tasks and whatever but I don't think it's really because of the fact that she's autistic it's more of the fact that she's currently grieving right now. She's been through a lot. I'm not going to get into that. But um, she's currently grieving. And there's been literally no sympathy for her. None. And she can't even take, like, time off because it would be unpaid. Like, she can't even take bereavement because of the situation. Again, I don't... It's not my business. She confided it into me. And, um... It's just really shitty. It's been fucked up, and I feel awful for her. So there's going to be parts of the story that I'm leaving out because of that. I don't want to get too into it. But essentially, that has caused a lot of issues with her doing her job because of this situation. And I know that's going to be hard to fully grasp and understand, but, like, just try to stick with it. And so we were talking about that, and it's just been really hard for her. And I've been feeling really guilty because I also talked in the... I think I talked about it in the last makeup video I did. Um, I got taken into the office and talked to. Um, not only by this manager who's been causing a lot of issues, but by my cur my former, technically current, but former manager. Like, it's a weird situation at work. Um, and so essentially, like, I got accused of not doing my job and accused of just sitting on my ass for like an entire day when obviously that is not fucking true and I was like did you guys even look at the cameras to prove that like who said that and they wouldn't tell me who said it I have a few ideas of who said it um one of them possibly being somebody who's new and then another person who um I know does not, is not a fan of me. She's our AP. And I'm not a fan of her either. So I guess it's kind of mutual. But I think maybe she had said something that I was back there too long. And then the thing is, is I have explicit permission to be like back in these offices from these managers. Like they know that I sit back there. Um, not only for my breaks, but like there's certain tasks that I don't have to be on the sales floor to complete. So when I'm done with everything else and I have those tasks to complete, I go back there and I complete them because if I can sit down doing something, I'm going to take advantage of that. I move a lot of product all day. I'm on my feet all the time. My feet are fucking hurt. I'm fat. So like, of course they're going to fucking hurt. And they're like, oh, we know that you're doing your job back here and everything, but it's the perception of how it looks. Who gives a How about people mind their fucking business? I was so pissed. I thought that conversation was so ridiculous. And honestly, like, I felt, like, I don't know, very, like, what's the word I'm looking for? I don't know. Like, I just felt, like, singled out, I guess. And 
because they specifically, when they were talking to me, they were like, oh, nobody's going to be allowed to take breaks back here, stuff like that, blah, 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 blah. Everybody's still taking breaks back there. I'm still taking my breaks back there, even after they said I shouldn't. Um, like, I'm not allowed because I don't give a fuck. <laughs> like, you're, if you're not going to force it for anybody else, you're not going to force it to me. And honestly, they haven't. So, work has just been really tense and bizarre. Like, I don't know how to explain it other than that. Like, it's just been really fucking weird. And I was so pissed after getting talked to. I feel like I'm all over the place. But, like, I was so upset after getting spoken to like that by my managers who I thought, like, respected me and understood, like, how I work and respect the fact that I work. Because, mind you, I'm not trying to, like, say I'm the best employee or anything like that. Because I'm not. I know I'm not. But my contributions for the store get us in like these really high percentages right and th that just seems to not matter anymore so okay so I've been slacking I haven't been caring about my percentage reports or anything like that and you might be like oh my god Max aren't you afraid to like lose your job or something nope because I got a new one um I start next month it is a 20k raise yearly uh 20k yearly raise like in a salary raise that's what i mean to say um it's remote and yeah i'm super excited um people that i've talked to about it so far super great i start my training next month um and i'll talk more about that in a second but like i just have like i used to give like so much of shit and now it's like could not give less than three fucks like i really couldn't and it's not that i like am not doing anything at my job but it's just like why would i give a shit if you guys don't can't even treat me with like respect anymore like because like the moment i feel disrespect at the job is the moment i'm done with the job like that's just i don't know that's just me so i started up like applying applying that was like three weeks ago from today that's when i got talked to and there was the same week that that co-worker had gotten talked to but i didn't know till like the week after um I knew that she was potentially going to get talked to, but I didn't know for sure, right? Because I think I talked about that in the video that they said they were, but I really hoped that she didn't. Because um, I, I I, didn't understand why they would talk to her about it, because it is so obvious who A, would be, like, complaining. Because, again, and I wasn't even complaining, but B, like, she takes things very personally. And that's okay. I would take that personally, too. Like, I'm not judging that. But I was like, what the fuck? Especially after I said I didn't want to like pursue that but whatever well then she had another run-in with another co-worker and she got in trouble and it was like essentially the same situation that i just described where they were kind of like talking about a situation she was involved in but she didn't necessarily do anything wrong or like bad like we weren't complaining about it but she got talked to because of it and so she so after i had apologized to her we're gonna use both of these concealers. This is the Stay Concealer and the shade one. Sorry, I'm going up and down with my tone. And then this is Elf Camo Concealer in the shade Fair Rose. This is super light and this is kind of yellow, so I think they work good together. I'm actually gonna mix them on my hand and um, we'll apply it with a brush. I love concealers, I don't know about you. But um she's like confiding about the situation but I already knew about it from the other co-worker because the other co-worker that was involved I've gotten like recently really close to yeah, if you're interested in using this brand just know if you're like super pale like I am it is really yellow um, I'm just too lazy to return things so I'm just using it I'm gonna use this like teeny brush I think it's supposed to be a lip brush So I already knew about the situation and she told it a lot differently than what the other co-worker said but essentially it was the same thing and I, I knew this is what the co-worker was talking about. Oh, I'll do you first. I don't know what I'm doing. And um, it was just it was just really weird like and I'm trying again like I'm not going to explain everything because like I don't want to get her personal information out there or anything because I respect her. Um, but like it does have something to do with that grieving thing 
and she's taking it being very envious of this other co-worker because of the grieving thing and it's like I can't I can't speak on that you know I don't understand that I've never been through something like that um so I, I want to say her feelings are really valid and but you gotta make sure it doesn't like affect you in like a you know professionally let me find a brush to blend that with see if they have like a concealer brush they have like these flat brushes but that's not what I want to use I use this flat top brush because that's kind of similar to what I use for my foundation but um it was just really bizarre like it's just a weird situation and it's like hard to be in the middle of that too because I respect both co-workers and I think that both of their feelings and like what their actions were were valid but the she's taken it very personally because she got in trouble for it which I totally get but that was not my co-worker's intention however and I, I kind of like said that without making it like known that I um talked to the other co-worker about it because I because she had come to me after I had said that like she had gotten in trouble and it was like my fault and she was like oh my god that's so funny because she just got in trouble for something that I said and I did not want her to get in trouble either so we were kind of like talking about how our managers have been really fucking weird and like not really listening to us like how they used to I'm breaking out my chin like always I think I break out on my chin pretty bad Ooh. I break out my chin a lot because my uh, partner has facial hair so um like his facial hair rubs my skin and it just breaks out because of that you would think after a year or so over oh, no, two years of being together that it'd be used to it by now but no okay I would like this brush to be maybe a bit denser but I think it'll work anyway but then she goes like, oh, I don't even care if it wasn't like she, her intention to get me in trouble. I don't want to be around her ever again or talk to her ever again because she's like jealous of this, of this coworker, which again, I do think the feeling is very valid for sure. Cause again, I don't understand this like grieving process. I might have to use a different brush. Yeah. Oh, that's disappointing. But, um, again, you have to be professional. And so I was just like, okay, yeah. Okay, oh, this brush is going to be way better. Yeah. I might have to go in with my foundation brush for that one because I put too much on. But, um, so then I'm like, well, why don't you try and take some time off? Like, I think that would be really beneficial for you. And I do think that would be really beneficial for her because... She's obviously just, she's like going through it. But she's like, I don't know, I don't think I can. And we like we, we just basically were talking and I felt so good to talk to her and like get that out of the way. Cause I've been, I'm not supposed to put makeup that high. Ugh. But um, it feels like really good to talk to her cause I, I knew she was upset with me and I just thought oh, it's been so awkward like she wouldn't even smile back at me <laughs> I'm gonna put some consider my eyes like as a um, primer for my shadow but yeah it's just been like I feel like tense like I feel like everybody has beef with somebody right now and it's so, like, bizarre right now to be at work. Because you just, like, it's just kind of like, what the fuck is going to happen today? Like, what am I going to do to get yelled at or get talked to? Like, that's seriously how work has been feeling. And it's been so stressful. Um, so I'm glad I got, like, that out of the way. Because that's going to make me feel a lot better going into work and having... It's been... And it, that was, like, the worst part about it. Because I don't really have a lot of people that I talk to at work. Um... And so it's very, like, it, it's obvious, you know, when somebody's upset because they don't talk to you. 
as much or anymore. And so it's like, I know what the fucking dog do. My nose kind of is like a little too white now. It's okay. I think when I put blush and stuff on it, it'll cover it up. I want to try and do, like, card out my eyebrows. So we're going to do my eyebrows before anything else now. Since we're working with concealer. Oh. I don't even know if I have eyebrows still. Okay. So I'm glad that I got that figured out with. But my manager. Sorry, two managers, right? I have my manager that I was hired under. And then I have a manager that I kind of, like, oversees my daily tasks. But she's not technically my manager. It's, like, a really... And, like, they kind of, like, fight over me. It's really bizarre. Like, and it makes it really uncomfortable for me. Like, it, I don't enjoy it. Because it, if you think, like, oh, they, you must be such a good worker. They fight over you. And it's, like, no, they're just, like really catty and petty towards each other and then they talk shit about each other to me and it's like and it's like I don't want to be involved in that and you know personally I do like one over the other I think that she communicates a lot better than the other woman and um, you know she's normally a lot more nicer about things I think she's a I think she has better managerial skills than the other one does, in my per my opinion. But I'm still, you know, professional and nice. Um, and I found out that literally this other manager, she literally only has like two or three people under her now in the whole store. And I'm technically one of them. And I'm like, yeah, girl, that's not like a flex. Like... They took you, they took team members away from you probably because people were talking shit about you. Like, people fucking hate you. And that's true. People, people do not like this woman. And the thing is, is she can be really, like, kind of enjoyable to talk to. But she can also be, like, literally the worst. So, it's, you never know what you're going to get, essentially, is what I'm trying to say. And with the other manager, like, normally she's pretty cool. She's pretty chill. It's not a big deal, but, like, I think she's just getting spread way too thin. Like, way too thin. And because of that, she's just been, like, snapping at people. And, like, it's kind of made it really uncomfortable. Like, I used to be really comfortable, like, going up to her and talking to her about things that I was going through or like just like you know what's going on like hey what's up like how are you like being able to have like a friendly conversation I don't even try that now like it's like it's so uncomfortable and I, I just feel like it's so unlike her and I've been talking about my t I talked about it with my other like team members and they agree like her behavior has been really like really off recently I don't know if I'm doing this right. I'm, this is my first time doing this, so bear with me. Okay, you're supposed to do a lighter concealer under, if I'm not mistaken, and then a kind of darker one to match your forehead, which I have. I wonder if you can hear the cicadas. I love, that's like my favorite thing about summer, I think, is I love hearing all the, like, the the animals and the bugs outside especially at nighttime like it relaxes me so good I think that's just because I grew up in a rural area so it helps me sleep I don't know if this is working but we're gonna keep going maybe they'll look cleaner oh. I should be looking at the She's just been like, her behavior's really off and it's been bizarre. And so, um, it's been kind of uncomfortable because of that. This one's always hard because my eyebrow hairs are really fucking long in this eyebrow. Also, that was my throat making a sound, so my bad if you heard that. I 
I feel like I went in too much. Can you see it? Yeah. Also, I like that this one is like rounder. I mean, more angled than the other one. How do I fix that? I think that's just how my eyebrows are. Like, I think her, tr like, with the store director that we have right now, she's, like, really not, where's my eyebrow thing? She's really not a fan of him. Um, and I don't, I don't have, like, anything personal against him. I just don't think he listens to people. Like, he, like, wants to hear what he wants to hear, and if it's not what he wants to hear, he just doesn't hear it. So, I think that's, like, the main issue that a lot of people will have with him, like, working there. Um, because, like, we've had some issues with him, like, saying that, hey, we need to do this and this, and then when we explain, like, that's not what, like, um, sorry, I'm, like, trying to focus and talk at the same time, that's not what, like, a director said, or people above him said, and he's like, I don't care, I want to look good, if I do it more, and it's like, bro shut the fuck up so it's definitely been stressful like in that sense for her so i think that's probably one of the reasons why honestly i think from afar they look really fucking good but i think when you come close they look a little <laughs> they might look a little funny but let's just blend the concealer in a little bit with some more getting like more of a rounder bigger brush with surface area and I'm just blending this down into my eyeshadow and my eyelid I mean but yeah so it's just been really weird that's like the best way I can say it so because of that I've done some looking around for jobs and there's really not a lot out there which is sad and disappointing but I did end up snagging three interviews, right? Um, I snagged a interview for a state job. It's like a county job, but it's a state job. And then I did, I had another one with an insurance company. Um, and then I had, I applied for, at a college. I did not think they were going to get back with me. It was kind of like a why not type of app like, like, type of applying you know what i mean like uh, there's not a lot of options out right now like who knows like maybe they'll actually look at my application and they did they looked at my application and they offered me a virtual interview um and i did the virtual interview and i bombed it <laughs> it was it was it was fucking horrible like you guys, I cannot, like, I've done interviews before, I've done virtual interviews, and I can tell you with absolute certainty that was probably the worst interview I have ever done, like, in my entire career. It was really, really bad. I don't know if I'm supposed to keep these lines, like, extra sharp or not, because I feel like they look stupid. But then, look, I just snagged my... doesn't have a lot in it so that's why I have to go over a bunch of times but um so I did the virtual interview and I'm I literally like I think I kind of cried a little bit after because I it would be such a I was like it's such a good job and the benefits are amazing because like something that I've been stressed about is if when I leave this job at Target um I will, I'll be essentially trying to find another job that gives a similar education benefit, which is either completely paying for the program or just doing, switching over to a different program, right? And these jobs that I found that are like a really nice 
like pay increase aren't giving that type of benefit. So I was either gonna have to sacrifice my degree or just stay at Target part-time. I really don't want to do that. I want to quit. <sighs> and the two jobs that I were going to interview at um, were not offering that. They both offered like a reimbursement, but the thing is, is with that reimbursement, um, it's only like, I think, grand and if you go to college you know you know damn well that that ain't shit so you know that was really like okay that's so it's like essentially like nothing you know what I mean I hate to say that but like you know okay I'm gonna do the same thing for your eyebrows and um so like the fact that I bombed this interview that would give me free education with this job, I was so pissed. You know, I was so disappointed. But these other jobs that I... You see that? What is that? Oh, it's just like fuzz in my hair, I think. Yeah, okay. I need to shave so bad. And I need a haircut. Holy shit. <laughs> but, um... So, I was really bummed that I... I did that to myself. Next day, after I'm like telling people that I bombed this interview, they reach out and they want to do a panel interview with me. Um, because it's in higher education, so a lot of people are normally going to kind of like want to be there. And um, I was just so shocked. I was like, oh my god, I could not believe it. So we schedule it. And do it I scheduled it also I have the same another interview literally like back to back with that so that was for the church job and so I have the admissions interview and then the insurance interview and I'm like pissing shitting crying I'm so nervous do the interview I did really well in the interview I had a I had a um like a a part that I don't think I did as good as I could have done but I think overall the interview went really good. I'm gonna do some setting powder. Two set the base. I'm gonna use this one. This this is a blush one, but it's really fluffy, so I think it'd be good for powder. So, um, and I'm just powdering my entire face because I don't like sticky makeup. But anyway, so, um, I'm like really hoping they end up reaching out to me and hire me. I don't know. And most of the jobs that I've ever applied to have either hired me like literally right after the interview, but that was because it's a retail job. And then at Target, I did do a virtual interview and then they just hired me from the virtual interview. Like I think literally the next day so I was like I don't know I don't think I got it like I'd love to say I did but like whatever so then I do the insurance interview after that I also did really well but then she was like it's not an interview it's like a pre-interview checklist I don't know it was kind of bizarre so then she wanted to schedule me for another interview and I was like okay so we we're in the process of scheduling that which has been really hard working around my work schedule because I work all day and like most of the jobs I'm applying for are like office jobs so they have office hours and normally the office hours are gone like over with by the time I'm out of work and it's like so oh I forgot to powder your face when I go asshole but anyway so um I had a county interview scheduled and I, I had like this really awful feeling about this interview I don't know what it was I just didn't want to go and I'm like trying to convince myself to go like I was like oh my god that's so unprofessional like you have to go and I just I couldn't do it I was so anxious I just and it wasn't like my regular anxiety I'm gonna argue. like because my I talked to my mom about it I was like it's not my regular anxiety like I feel like something bad is gonna happen and she was like that's crazy and I was like mom like I don't know so I did end up 
I was canceling it. I canceled it. And I wanted to reschedule it. And so I was waiting on them to get back with me if they were still interested in rescheduling since I know I canceled it. Because I know that doesn't always look the best. Um, so then I get off work. I come home. I take my after work nap. I wake up to my phone ringing. Um, let's jump into... We're going to use the e.l.f. Um, Halo Glow contour. We'll do you first. And my phone's ringing, and I thought it was my alarm because I set, I set an alarm. Sorry. <laughs> I didn't hear you. I, didn't, um, I set an alarm to wake myself up so I could get up and go pick up my boyfriend from work. Because um, we have pretty different work schedules and I thought that was just an alarm when I look at my phone it's from the state that this college is in and I'm like now I'm not fully awake so I end up missing the call and um she leaves me a voicemail to call her back and I'm thinking oh my god like this is it she's either gonna tell me that I don't have the job or that I do and so I'm like I'm pissing myself <laughs> like forcing myself to wake up and um sorry I gotta lock in to do contour um you know I'm like pissing shit and crying throwing up going through every emotion I can think of you know before I, I call her and then she doesn't pick up and I'm like I'm like so nervous and um she ends up calling me like right after that um, and she's like I don't know why your my phone didn't ring but I saw that I had missed a call from you and so she's like well I have some great news um we want to offer you the position <laughs> why is this so much lower than the other one my face is gonna look lopsided as fuck now all right blend yours in because I forgot to do that because I'm literally all over the place but um so she's like do you have like an hour or so like we're gonna just talk about the position some more and like our expectations and how we're gonna send equipment how we're gonna do this because it's a remote position <sighs> you guys this is literally it is just so crazy because I was literally just having a conversation with one of my best friends about how I felt like I wasn't doing enough for in like my life and I know I'm younger and everything but like I want what I feel like is an adult job you know what I mean and I'm not saying like retail is not an adult job or like a real job please know that like you are God's strongest sh shoulder soldier working a retail job and anybody who works retail understands that and knows that those jobs are harder than any office job that you probably will ever fucking have um they're like they're crazy they're hard they're hard working and then, like, customers make it awful, managers make it awful, co-workers can make it awful. Like, it's a difficult job. But you're not as compensated as I do think that you should be for that type of work. And on top of that, like, I don't know. I want something that's, like, a, a career, you know, not a job, but a career. And I feel like I've seen people who I went to school with they either are like doing super good and they have like a career like that or they're like doing something similar to I am or they're in prison <laughs> so so like I just was like I don't know like I'm not disappointed in myself but I was just like what am I not doing correctly right and it's just so crazy to me that I was just I was so I essentially only got this job because I was pushed to be so uncomfortable at my current role that I got a job that is insane and like um like it's it's so it's so much better like um and I don't know when I'm gonna post this because I don't I don't know if there's anybody I work with that is gonna see this and say something because excuse me um I don't want my job to just cut my hours completely before I start or fire me and you might be like Max can I do that yes I 
I live in a fire at will state. So now it is a little different when you work for a corporation, but really they can make up whatever they want and just fire me. And I know that because it's happened to people that I know. So I've been keeping this kind of private only to like a few people that I trust that isn't gonna say something. Um, however, I do know somebody said something to somebody else because people knew that I had an interview with, the, like, the county, um, and I think, and literally, they, I know that they knew that because I looked at my schedule for the next few weeks and loaded with hours. I've never had this much hours. Like, I have not worked this much hours since I got hired, so, like, I think that they know and that they're trying to get as much as they can out of me before I quit. Um, but yeah, I, I accepted it. I'm still in the process of like submitting my paperwork for it and everything. The benefits are phenomenal. Um, great insurance, paid holidays because it's a school. Um, it's completely remote work. Um, if you're interested in what I'm doing, I'm going to be an admissions counselor. Um, I'm going to put some here to give my some more shadows and then you know I get to continue my degree and I don't pay for anything and the cool thing is is like if I ever have kids or like my partner and I get married if he wants to get education he can for really heavily discounted or for free so and like these benefits essentially kick in like right away um, so I'm like really, I'm really excited for this job, like, and it pay is super fucking good. Um, I'm, I'm just, I'm blown away that I got the job. Like I'm, I'm still kind of like in shock and I'm so excited. Um, but yeah, I just, I, I'm so excited and I kind of, I again, like this might be posted kind of late. Because I might not post till I put my two weeks in or something. Um, just to make sure everything will be okay. And, like, with my current job and everything. Because I, I do want to quit, like, respectfully. In case, like, I ever want to pick up, like, a... I don't know, like, a seasonal thing over there. Like, during, like, the breaks that the school will have or something. I don't know. But, yeah. Um, so, I'm very excited about that. And... A new like thing in my life like a new chapter in my life and like having like what I would I would call like an adult like career and it's just so crazy to me like um but yeah and like they, they also they have really great like um career growth opportunities at this position so that's what I was like really excited for um I'm wearing blue. It kind of looks white, but I'm wearing blue, so let's do blue. But yeah, um, so it's currently Saturday, so I found out I got the job two days ago. Um, I've kind of just been like, I don't know, kind of freaking out, but kind of not at the same time. <laughs> like, it's just craziness. I don't really have like a home office or anything so I it's our tax-free like weekend in our state so I just ordered a nice like desk it's like an adjustable like you can make it standing if you want which I don't think I'll really do that but the reason I got it is so I can also use it for like my nail setup because I need a nice place because I just do stuff on my coffee table and that needs to charge so, the fact that it's adjustable, like, I thought would be really good for that. And then I, off I ordered an office chair. And I want to get, like, a really nice keyboard. I know that they'll be giving me a keyboard, but, like, I'm going to be typing, like, all day, you know. So, I want to get a keyboard that I like and isn't going to annoy me, but it's kind of pricey. Because, like, I think the keyboard that I'm interested in is not pricey itself, but the 
keys that I'm gonna get for it will be pricey. I think they're like $100, but there's like ceramic keys. So I think they sound really cool. So I'm just, I'm very excited um, to start. The training is like five, I think, weeks. And then I'm like on my own. Um, so yeah, I don't know. I will keep you guys updated with that. And you know, obviously let you guys know when I start and everything. Um, cause right now I am waiting on my background check to go through. Cause obviously you have to pass a background check to work in higher education, which obviously I will. There was like, I don't think I've ever even, yeah, I've never even got like a traffic ticket before. So, um, the only thing that comes up when I, I do like background checks is like the fact that I've changed my name legally. I think that's like literally the only thing that comes up. You see how red this eye is? Like, oh my god. I think I put too much concealer in it, like the fumes. But yeah, so like work has just been like really. Mm. But I'm very happy to say that this is the last month I'll be working there and I'm very excited for what's to come and everything because it's just going to be so different and I'm just very excited about this like opportunity. Like I just am so, <sighs> like it just doesn't even feel like real. I don't know. Sorry if you hear my neighbor. Also, thinking about moving, we've been talking about this being the last year in this apartment, and I think that that, especially with the fact that I'm getting a new job, I think that that's probably something that's going to happen. Um, I don't know if I've talked about this a lot, but my boyfriend is kind of just waiting to get promoted at his current position. And when he gets promoted, they're kind of expected to, like, um, they're expected to relocate not too long after they get the position to, like, go to a different store. So, we don't know where that will take us. And, because sometimes they don't even stay in the same state. Which is fine, because as long as I stay within, like the states that they've outlined me to, it like I can move anywhere. And that was a really big concern for us before I got this job because I obviously needed to stay in an area where I could continue getting my benefits, but now that's not as big as a concern, which is such a great thing for us. So I'm not sure if we're gonna stay in this area or we're gonna move in a different area we're talking about moving more in the city like in Columbus so I don't know that does sound interesting but that would be very expensive and kind of a really long move because our lease is up in December and the winters recently haven't been too horrible because like they've been like like late winters you know and so like moving in December really wasn't too terrible because it wasn't even snowing yet but like you never know with Ohio weather so we'll have to just see what ends up happening but I do think this will be our last last year in this apartment for sure because I am sick of living here and I like mean that in the nicest way possible like I do think this apartment is a good apartment for like a first apartment my eyeshadow looks fucking insane but like the building is not up to code and um like our fans like there's no ventilation like our fans are fake so like the bathroom fan does not do anything there is mold issues the whole complex smells like mold and must and i just ruined this i shut a look but we'll fix it i think and it's just like and i'm i'm really not impressed with like management here either i think they're very passive aggressive and 
the like maintenance person I've talked about as well. Like it's just, and the neighbors are nosy, very, very nosy. So um, I'm not really too keen on like living here much longer. Cause at first I was like, ugh, I don't know. Like moving is kind of a big chore and like, you know, but now I'm just like, yeah, let's get the fuck out of here. So we've been looking it's just hard because like, even though we'd be moving in like in about what four four ish months right yeah four ish months you know you just don't know if they're going to be available because like some people they don't care signing a lease like and prepping for people to move in that far but like they obviously are going to prefer holding something for somebody like who's going to move in a lot sooner so you just like it's it's rough I'm trying to nail something oh my god down yeah i'm not a fan of this look if i'm being so for real with you i think this is ugly it was just such a shame because my base actually turned out really good today So still do not have lash glue. I'm probably gonna go out and buy some tonight, actually. So should have waited to film this. What an asshole I am. Just kidding. Not really. <laughs> I just feel like I do completely different like eye shapes, if that makes sense, for like my shadows. So then I feel like I look stupid. I don't know if that fixed it. <sighs> okay, let's just do some glitter and pretend that that's gonna save it. <laughs> see what this looks like. Oh, this is such a buttery, like, glitter. That's what I love about ColourPop. I will have to say that majority of their glitters are just so creamy. Like, I, I fucking love ColourPop as a brand like it's so it's so good i love how that just went completely frosted everything and now it's just one shade <laughs> but it's okay that was not my like intention to do but i guess that's what we're gonna do dang that's like very full coverage of like an eyeshadow shade like you see how like mainly covered all that that's kind of like crazy. Here, we'll try and add some dimension to that back. But, um, actually we need to look, like, look back, because we were also kind of looking into potentially applying for some home loans. Um, and just maybe doing our first house, which I know kind of seems like a lot, but with the, the rates that I'm going to be getting, like, it, I don't know. I don't think it would be as bad as, like, it would be if I wasn't getting this job. I don't know. I don't want to do eyeliner, I don't think, because I'm not going to do lashes, so I'm just going to do, I'm sorry for the honking, I'm just going to do mascara. And I have two mascaras. I have this ColourPop Level Up Mascara. I think this is brown. Or not. Does it say it's brown? Yeah, it is brown though. Um, and then I have this one. This is by Ardell. And it has like a top and a bottom. And it's black. So I'm going to just do the black one. This is for the bottom. But, um, I forgot what I was talking about. Oh, yeah, I was, like, looking at different apartments and stuff. But we were, we were thinking about doing houses because there was a house that was listed not too long ago that I love. And it's not too far from here. Unfortunately, it doesn't qualify for, what's the loan? Um, the specific loan that most sellers will take. 
um, what I say? It's like the specific loan for like rural properties, but even though it is a rural property, it's not in this like, it's like gerrymandered into a city area. So therefore it doesn't qualify, which is so stupid. But um, it is a really nice house and for the house of the size, like the size of it and um, how the house looks, it's very affordable. Um, however, it's not, it's not in like the best area, but it's also not like in an area where I'd be like, I'm not living there. So I've talked to my mom about it a few times. I don't know if it's still listed. I should look but I don't know because I think I think he's interested oh my god look how red my eyes are that's crazy I thought my hair looks so greasy and it literally was perfectly fine this morning it's because I went out so and it's like really nasty out it's like muggy I had to leave in the morning um, to get quarters from the bank because it's Saturday Oh, this looks so much better in person. This looks so cute in person. And this looks ugly as fuck on camera. Maybe it doesn't look super ugly to you, but it does to me on camera. What? But, um, anyway. It's, like, really nasty, humid, muggy out. And, um, I had to get up this morning go to the bank to get quarters for laundry because we really need to do laundry and by we I mean me and um, I should have gone yesterday after work but I was so tired that I just came home and went to bed I hate that banks aren't open on the weekends like I'm like I feel like that's one I need to go to the bank or I guess not on the weekend, but like on Sundays, like that's some people's days off. Like I just don't, I just don't get that. I don't understand that, and I don't understand why businesses like close early on Sundays either. Like I don't get that. Like sometimes, like that's like one of my days off. Like maybe I want to do shit on a Sunday. Sue me. Honestly, this came out cute. I like it. Alright, now I'm gonna do yours, and it's gonna come out a lot better <laughs> than mine. Oh, I got mascara in my eye. Okay. But, um, yeah, so, I don't know. I have to look and see if that house is still available. It's really cute, though. Like, it was obviously recently redone, so, like, the flooring is really nice. And um, I, one of the bathrooms was like brand spanking new. Like they obviously bought it and flipped it, which is what a lot of people have been doing in that area because they're kind of like gentrifying it a little bit. But yeah, so I don't know. Maybe we'll look into that, but realistically, we'll probably rent for another year. Um, but probably not at this exact complex. Because there's some places we were looking at. The nicest one that I saw was like a luxury trailer. Like somebody had flipped a trailer and it's gorgeous. It looks great. I would live there. It's got enough bedrooms. However, I just, we would have to go and see it on, in person because my boyfriend is so tall that I don't, like, I need to make sure he would comfortably, like, be able to stand in the trailer. So we'll have to go and, like, look at that and see. I would think so, but I don't know. I'm still shocked sometimes at his height. It, like, it, I don't know. You get, like, I think when you're around a person so much, you kind of get used to their height. And then, like, sometimes we'll be seeing next show, and I'm like, what the fuck? You weirdo. Like, stop being so tall. I don't even know how tall he actually is. He's, like, stupid tall, though. I'm trying not to like have my eyes water because they're watering really bad. I think it's because the fan and the fact that my eyelashes aren't like protecting my eyes as much. 
You know how it is. Okay. Let me not cry on camera. <laughs> All right, let's get the glitter going. same time and I, I think my laundry is probably ready but I don't want to go get it right now because I look like this. <laughs> I think also work has been so fucking crazy too because you got to think about it is every retail store like back to school type of season right? Obviously, it's a shit show when that goes on and it's busy as fuck. So I think that also has just made everything like what? Because I've had a lot to do these past few weeks, which is I know another reason that I've been getting a lot of hours. But like, it's still I I it's you know what I mean. <laughs> oh my gosh. You see the tears. <laughs> I'm gonna redo the mascara on this because I don't feel like it's as popping as the other one. Oh my god, bro. Ugh, it's crunchy. I also, I don't know what my algorithm has been doing. I've been getting a lot of like, what is it, Gravity Falls stuff? If you guys have watched Gravity Falls and you liked it, let me know. I've been thinking about watching it. I never watched this again. Um, I don't think I probably would have been allowed to because my parents were really weird about what I would watch and what I wouldn't. Like, I was one of those kids that I wasn't allowed to watch SpongeBob growing up. But, like, my grandpa would sneak it because he liked watching it. <laughs> but, yeah. I think this came out cute. I love this blush, oh my gosh. This is the Woo Me blush by ColourPop. And um, I'll just use that same powder brush. <sighs> and you guys know I like a lot of blush because I am a very naturally red person. So I feel like weird not red so although I see how some people apply blush and I'm not a fan like I don't like the like line of blush you know what I mean like I need it to be blended like I think some people do look good with that type of blush I'm not gonna lie like and be like a complete hater but like I don't know this is not for me, but I do think it looks good on other people. Get my forehead. I think I like messed up my skin right here, like the skin barrier, because my that spot on my forehead, ooh, okay, I look a little too red, is like literally always breaking out, always red, and I like I put a lot of sunscreen. My hairline looks fucked when I did that. That's scary. I'm just talking about that with my boyfriend. Like, I'm probably gonna lose my hair pretty soon. Try to enjoy my lot lasts. Because uh, all the biological men in my family lose their hair pretty young. My, like, my dad was balding in his 20s, so. So now that I'm absolutely covered in blush, how I like to be, um, we're going to do highlighter. This is a ColourPop highlighter as well, uh, the Making Memories highlighter. Oh my gosh. I think I might have like a little bit of allergies. I don't know. I 
forgot this had a fan brush. I love, I feel like people don't apply with fan brushes anymore. Like that was like a, a 2016 thing. And then, oh, did you see that shit? Holy shit. <laughs> oh my God. My insides are forever going to be just mica powder. Holy shit. I've never had that much fallout before. Actually, I kind of see why people don't use this brush anymore because I don't, I don't want just like a line of highlight. It, it is, I think it's good for the nose though. There was an ASM artist I used to love watching when I was younger and she used to have a huge, a huge brush, like a really big one and she would just go like this with it. I love that I, I used to like really i'd be going like asleep so fast it was really big and she would actually use it for her makeup too but she always looked really good with her makeup like she was stunning who was that i think she was she was a little older to buy a uh, Too Faced lip gloss that I used to have, but they're so fucking expensive, so I haven't done it because I don't want to spend a bunch of money on makeup, but like, I miss like the taste of it, and I, God, it looks so cute. All right. I feel like this pink might look good. I think I used this last time, too. I don't know. I didn't realize how like bubblegum pink it was gonna be when I ordered it. My phone died. <laughs> so this is what it looks like. I don't know. I kind of like it, but I don't. Like, I feel like it makes my teeth look a little yellow. My teeth already look yellow. <laughs> like, um, it makes me think of that, um, what is that? Uh, it's like a, 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 I think it's Japanese. Oh God, now I feel like an asshole if it's not Japanese. It's like, like where girls will be very tan, very bright, but they, they have like this really light pink lipstick with like white, like eyeliner. Guy, guy, I don't think, I, I don't know if that's right. I don't want to say it'd be wrong. But it kind of reminds me of that because I feel like it's also very like, early 2000s kind of look so I feel like this is what that gives so I think I'm gonna put some lip liner on and see if blending some lip liner with it oh this is super pink I grabbed the wrong one not I don't know if you could tell by that swipe I have like double lined lips or whatever it's called um, I, wonder, I don't know if that was thunder or a car going by I think it's a car or a motorcycle blend it as much as I can. That definitely was a motorcycle. <laughs> that was so stupid. <laughs> it's all trial and error. It's a good thing I'm making myself look stupid so then I don't make you look stupid. Honestly, I think I like the bubblegum more. Scrape it off my nail. My boyfriend and I were teasing each other, um, and I was like, I feel like I have pretty good lips, you know, for a white person, and he was like, <laughs> he said, any lips good for a white person, 
and I, anytime I look at my, like I'm doing like lipstick or um, my lips and I'm like thinking that they look good, I think about that. <laughs> it, just, it makes me laugh a little bit. All in, all in good humor, obviously. Um, let's use the Glossier over this to give it some lip gloss. I really wish I could be like a um, lipstick type of guy, but I don't know. I just don't like the texture. I think lip gloss always eats. I'm not I'm super in love with the color, but I don't think it looks bad. Alright, I didn't do hardly anything on you. So let's do your blush. Did I do your blush? I don't think I did. Because I'm an asshole. Sorry, I don't think I've ever smelled it. <laughs> but yeah, it's just kind of like this kind of makeup reminds me of like makeup I would do myself on a, like as a kid. But like this was done okay. Like decently. You know what I mean? Okay. And then I know I did your nose highlighter, but I didn't do your cheeks, I don't believe. I'll watch the time because I gotta pick up my boyfriend from work. I don't have to, but I'm going to because I'm, I'm so sweet. I'm so nice. It was storming. It's been storming really bad here for the past few days, but it's been so relaxing to me. But last night, right, um, I didn't even wake up to my boy, like my alarm to go pick him up. Do your eyebrows too. Um, I woke up to this giant ass thunderclap. It scared the shit out of me. Normally, normally storms like won't do that to me. Like it doesn't, it doesn't really bother me. But um oh this is in the shade O2 Clout if you're interested in this. Um I think this it would look really good on like maybe a darker skin tone but maybe it just looks silly on me. Like I don't know because of my skin tone. Because I found in the certain shades, I just feel like only look good on certain skin tones. And I just, I don't think this one's for me. <laughs> but um, anyway. So, um, I have always loved storms. Like, I just always have. But that just scared the shit out of me. I had, excuse me, I've had, I had anxiety for like the next hour. And then this liner is ColourPop Fruit Fantasy. When I ordered it, I thought it was going to be more nude, and it is like a, I should have known Fruit Fantasy, it's going to be a fucking berry color, but I don't know. It, the picture made it look very, very nude. This was the first lip liner I'd ever ordered, too, so. I would love to try, I think NARS is supposed to have really good ones, and Anastasia Beverly Hills is supposed to have good ones, too. But I've heard some bad things about their makeup, so I'm always kind of like, I don't know if I should order it. Alright, and then I'm going to do the same thing that I did, which is use a brush to blend that, if I can find it. <laughs> nope, that's not it. Where is it? It's like right in front of my face and I can't see it. But, um... Yeah, I would like to try that. I'm, I'm like in the mood to really try new makeup, but I don't have the money to. I was tempted that other day though, because Sephora had this like, only for you, um, give you 15% off your like cart or whatever. And I was like, but I didn't have money, so it doesn't matter. <laughs> I do like this lip gloss. I like how thick it is. I'm actually almost out. But yeah, there's the makeup. Um, I'm not gonna put setting spray on because I don't know where it's at. <laughs> some other stuff I was going to talk to you about, but I don't know. 
you know that when I start talking, I just, I go all over the place with what I'm talking about, so. But yeah. Oh, I did do a video, like, where I recorded, um, I get ready with me for the interview with Elena. Um, so I will probably post that before I post this. Probably, I don't know. I have to see how good it came out because sometimes when I record in my bathroom, it just, it, the quality is so shit in there. Probably like radiation from the mold, kind of like how, you know, like if you try to like record radiation, like you get the weird quality and like your footage and shit. It's like from, but it's, it's like that, but from my black mold in my fucking bathroom. <laughs> I don't know, but uh, yeah. Thanks for hanging out with me. Thanks for letting me talk to you. Miss you. It's been a minute since I sat down and filmed, actually. I think the last time I filmed something was, yeah, last week. So, it's good to get off my ass and actually film, because I love you all. Um, I was going to do some crystal videos, so if you have any, um, what was I going to say? Requests for any crystal type of videos, let me know. And yeah, I love you guys. I hope this was relaxing and and or entertaining. And I hope you sleep super, super good tonight.